Okay, welcome back to another maths lesson. Um, last lesson we had a look at angles in parallel lines, but all we did was we found out the three names for the different angles, and then we looked at finding one angle in a set of parallel lines. Okay, if you're not sure about that still, you need to go back and have a look at it. Okay, it's all available online, so you can have a look at it there. If you need to do any more research yourself, feel free to do that as well, okay? Today, though, we're going to move on to finding two missing angles in a set of parallel lines, and then we'll have a look at finding three angles in a set of parallel lines as well, okay? So, first of all, okay, we've got two parallel lines here. We know they're parallel because of the arrowheads there, okay? If we didn't have the arrowheads, we couldn't assume that it was, uh, if they're, that they were parallel lines, okay? So... First one, we're going to find what x is and find what y is, okay? I'm going to find x first, okay? Because I think that's the easier one. So what we've got here is we've got an upside down f, okay? The way it, it is, it's like, like that, okay? Now we know the f angle, okay, the corresponding angle, okay, that if you have an angle in here, that the angle up here will also be the same. Okay, so we've got two angles, both are the same. So we know that x is 70 degrees. Okay, that's not too bad, I don't think. You've just got to be able to spot the f there. And as I said to you last lesson, it may not be a nice f that we're used to seeing, okay? It could be a case of it's upside down, it's reflected, it's r rotated. That's what you need to spot, okay? So you've got an upside down F there. If that's 70, using corresponding, using the theory of corresponding angles, that this must also be 70 as well, okay? To find Y, there's two ways you can find Y, okay? I'm going to show you the easier way. We know that X is 70 degrees, okay? So if x is 70 degrees, this here is a straight line. So we know that straight lines the angles equal 180 degrees. Okay? So if x is 70, so x x plus y must equal 180 degrees. We know that x, because what we did in the first part of the question, x is 70 degrees. So you've got 70 plus something, call it y, is 180 degrees. Quite clearly you can see that y is 110 degrees. Okay, let's move on to the second example. Okay, so this one we're going to work out what x is first. Okay, you don't have to, but I think it's a bit easier. Okay, to find x, we've got a backwards C shape. Okay, it's like that. Okay, it's a C shape. We know, okay, because these are supplementary angles. Can't remember what they are, you need to look back at what we did in the previous lesson. Okay, supplementary angles that 118 degrees plus x equals 180 degrees. Okay, I'm going to take this and put it on the other side. So it's a plus on one side, it's a minus on the other. So what we've got, x hasn't moved. 180 degrees hasn't moved, but the 118 has. If it's a plus on one side, it's a minus on the other. Okay, so x equals 62 degrees. So that's what x is, okay? Now there's two ways to work out what y is, okay? We can use what we did here. So in a straight line, this is your straight line here, okay? x plus y equal 180 degrees. Okay, we know what x is 62. Plus y equals 180 degrees. So y equals 118 
degrees. It's what we had there. Okay. We can also use one of the other rules that we learned last lesson, okay, which is the alternate rule. Okay. Again, if you're not sure what they are, you need to look back at what we did in the previous lesson. Okay. So alternate rule. Whatever that is, because it's a Z shape, okay, it's a it's a reverse Z. Okay. Whatever that is there, that must also be. So Y is 118 degrees. Okay. Right, on the last one, we have to find three angles. Okay. In, there's more angles, but in some respects, it's actually easier than these two. Okay, so we'll have a look at it now. So, you've got 63 degrees, and we've got a, we've got a C shape here. Okay, what you've got is you've got Z, and you've got 63. Okay, we already know supplementary angle. Okay, they add up to 180 degrees. So Z plus 63 degrees is 180 degrees. So Z equals 117 degrees. Okay, that's all that's doing is just using... Forgetting about those two, we've got a C shape there, okay, which is supplementary at 117 degrees. Okay, so we know what Z is now. Okay, here we've got a straight line. Okay, so Y plus Z must equal 180 degrees. Okay, don't forget your degree sign. We know what Z is because it's 117 degrees. We don't know what y is yet, so we can't do anything with that. And we know that a straight line, they add up to 180 degrees. We're going to take this, the plus 117 degrees, and put it on that side. So we get y equals 180 degrees minus 117 degrees. So y is 63 degrees. If you notice, 63 degrees there for y is exactly the same as what the angle we started with. We've got a, foot, a proper z. We've got a correctly drawn z. Okay? The z shape we haven't looked at. Oh, we did down here, sorry. So those two angles are the same. So that's, there's two ways, there's more than one way you can work out what each angle is. Okay? So y is 63. So x, I think we can all work out, is 117 degrees. Okay, so Z is 117, Y is 63, X is 117 degrees as well. Okay, hopefully that explains it a little bit more. As I said, when you've got, when you've got three angles, there's more than one way to work it out. There's no, as long as you get the right answers, there's no 100% correct method. Okay, you can use different methods to get exactly the same answers. Okay, with these, you have to be a little bit more precise. However, Again, there are more than one way, or there is more than one way, to work out the angles that you need. Okay? If you've got any questions, let me know. Okay? Otherwise, enjoy your day, guys.